Thailand. <laughs> We're back in Chiang Mai. And the first thing I'm showing you is my grimy, filthy hands. My bike just broke down in the middle of the road. We're planning on doing a food video at one of our favorite vegetarian restaurants. But the first thing I'm showing you is my messed up bike. Nice. For lunch today, we biked all the way out to a restaurant called Salad Concept. On the way here, Sam's bicycle kind of died, so we had to leave it behind. But we finally arrived, and we're going to show you what this place is like. So the cool thing about this place is that you can build your own salad or build your own wrap, and that's what we're going to be doing today. So all kinds of different ingredients you can let's choose. Let's get a wrap with pumpkin. What else? What was good last time? Feta cheese. It was a feta. This is a premium topping. Alright, I've got my order picked out for my wrap. Let's see what's on it. So, croutons, pasta, carrots, tomato, bell peppers, pumpkin, raisins, grilled bacon, avocado, and feta with Caesar dressing. How does that sound to you? Excellent. So, you get a whole bunch of free toppings, I think five. And then you can add extra topping to that for a few more bot. After that bike incident, I'm splurging right now. Well, it's very, very good. This is a berry shake. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have shake envy. Looks better than the juice I got. So this drink over here is guava, apple, and passion fruit, and it's so refreshing and tangy. Mm. Oh, a little sour. And crunchy because of the seeds, but still good. <laughs> so I've been noticing a bit of an interesting phenomenon in the last few months of travel. I often order things and Audrey goes, no, I don't think I want that. I don't think it'll be good. And then as soon as it's brought to the table, Audrey has food envy and tries to eat half of it. I do. So this time around, I've ordered exactly the same thing you are getting. So I'll have my own. How does that look good? Or does that look good? I think mine looks better. Check this out. It has avocado, pumpkin, pasta, Bacon, olives, feta cheese. Let me take a big bite. That's gonna be good. Mm. Amazing. So happy. <laughs> Almost makes up for the bicycle incident. Mm -hmm. Dig in. Wow. These are some of the best wraps I've ever had anywhere. Hmm. So for me, there are two star ingredients in this wrap. First of all, the pumpkin. It just makes it nice and sweet. And also this wrap has raisins, which is something I've never had in a wrap or a sandwich before, but it seems to be quite popular in Thailand. So let's take another bite because I mean, the first one was so good. Ooh, it's falling apart, oh my. Mmm. Mmm. Can you give me a little bit of that? No. So the two ingredients that really make this wrap amazing for me are the Caesar salad and the feta cheese. The Caesar salad actually has a little bit of Dijon mustard added into it and it gives it a real kick. And the feta, well, what doesn't taste good with feta? Well, you know us, we're not really big on dessert, so, well, I guess we're just gonna have to have them. Here is the peanut butter brownie cheesecake brownie. Mm. And if that wasn't, if that didn't look decadent enough, I'll take a look at this one. This is an yeah. apple strudel cheesecake. That looks and amazing. And Audrey, Audrey doesn't like cheesecake, so I'll, I'll be having all of it. Oh, please. You wish. So this is a pretty nice brownie. It's very dark, heavy, chocolatey, 
and on top it has a little bit of cheesecake and then some chocolate mousse. Ooh. Mm. So much chocolate. Each bite is chocolatier than the next. Is it like a chocolate explosion in your mouth? Mm. All right, cheesecake strudel. I mean, apple strudel on its own is really good. Cheesecake on its own is really good. Putting them together, that's like a super power dessert. So overall, that meal is a bit of a splurge for us. It came to just over 600 baht, which is roughly 20 US dollars. Oh my. In Southeast Asia, that is a real splurge, $10 per person. Normally we would spend half, a third, or if we were having a local Thai meal, even a quarter. But it was worth every baht because it was tasty.